Okay, I have a new transition here. I called it boxed out. And I'm just going to run over some of the details. Basically, this is it. This is all it does. Draws a box, undraws the box, and there's a fade out at the end. Okay, the box cuts through to the clip that you're transitioning to. I have an on-screen control here so that you can position this anywhere you like. So we could do something extremely simple like this. Also, you'll notice that this on-screen control has its own little set of controls and you can control the scaling of it with the midpoint controls and you can grab corners and rotate this. Okay, now there's a little caveat here that I want to tell you about for the rotation because when you try and keyframe a rotation like this you have to watch out for this number over here if it goes from 0 to 359 well, first of all you can't drag it down so what I'm getting at is Final Cut is always going to think that you're going to go from 0 to 359 the long way and not the short way so if you need to keyframe a clockwise spin start with 360 here and then you can spin it right and the keyframe will work and I'll just go ahead and demonstrate that real quick now let's reset this set this to 360 probably should have done it when I made the template but I don't know let's keyframe I'm gonna keyframe everything so I'll just go to the boxed out title bar all the way to the disclosure triangle and add keyframe it'll add a keyframe to everything move on down the line a little bit and since Final Cut 10.0.3 you don't have to keep manually clicking on the keyframes. You can just make your change right here. And now when we play this, we should probably get, hopefully, that exact animation. And we do. There you have it. It's pretty simple. The rest of the stuff. Outline width, self-explanatory. If you don't want an outline, you can just drag it down to zero. Uh, there are two different modes. There's one that undraws the box and one that just fades the box out uh, at the end. It, not at the beginning. It always It's always going to draw the box on. And then you can choose whether or not you want to undraw it or just fade gracefully. Real quick. Fully customizable transition is kind of interesting unless you don't do anything with it. In order to change uh, the speed of this, you can, if you have the handles, if you saw my last tutorial, you can drag out and slow this down. And make it something interesting. Okay, I was just interrupted by a package coming and I've lost my place here, so I'll just finish this up. If you have any questions, leave a, the question in the comment and I will get back to you. I answer comments almost all the time. Uh, just that you can keyframe everything that shows up with these diamonds and that includes color, so you might want to experiment with that. If you start off with, let me get this up to here. Let's just pick a color. Since I, where did I start this? Let's go to where the keyframing starts. And I will start this color. If I left click on this color swatch and I can get 
any one of these. You can use the magnifying glass and pick a color from the scene. And I'll just go with uh, what's close to the bar right now. So it can be kind of subtle coming in. Like that. Then I can go in here and say darken this up a little bit. And then if I go to the end, I want to go to this right here and pick another color, something more along the lines of the incoming clip, Let's say right there. And let's see how that worked out. And not bad. All right. So there you go. Some tips, some tricks. Got a few examples over here. Something like this. This one's not too bad. Let me get that. stuff like that. Anyway, enjoy it. You can download it from the link in the description below and hope you find it useful and I'll catch you on the next one.